What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to be testing out some e.l.f. makeup. If you don't know, e.l.f. has recently returned to the UK. I believe they were in the UK at one point, then they left. They're back now, you can pick them up in Superdrug. I have seen a lot of you guys commenting on my videos asking for me to test out e.l.f. makeup, so that is exactly what we're going to do today. Let's get to it. Okay, so first up we have the Mineral Infused Face Primer. This I tried out on my hand, it's kind of like one of those silicon based primers. So I'm gonna do what I would normally do with like the professional whatever, and kind of warm it up in my hands, and lightly pat it onto my face. I don't want to rub it around too much because sometimes I find that primers like this can kind of pill up on your face. Let's zoom you in. Yeah, I quite like the way that feels actually. All right, so for foundation, I'm actually kind of nervous about this one. I'm going to be using, what is this even called? The Oil Free SPF 15 Sunscreen. I don't think it's called that, but um, I'll leave a link to everything down below. But this was like one of the cheaper foundations. I think they have one that was like eight or nine pounds. I think this one costs around six or seven pounds. And this one is in the shade Sand. So I'm gonna pump some of that onto the back of my hand. Could work. And I'm just gonna take a little buffing brush. Not my perfect shade, but we've definitely had worse. It's taking a little bit of effort to kind of buff it into the skin. It's yellow tone though, which is good. And I'd say actually, I think it is oxidizing a little bit. It's not that bad. The color ain't that bad. Looks kind of cakey. Not gonna lie. It's not like sinking into my skin overly well. I mean, it's okay. I'm not looking at it like holy shit, I need to go ahead and take off all of my face makeup before I even step outside. It's fine. It is quite a matte finish, I'd say. So, you know, that's already kind of thrown me off. I have actually used quite a lot. Like, I think this is pump six, so a lot of foundation. And it doesn't seem to be building up or anything like that. It's okay. I think that is my final conclusion. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it. You could probably buy something better for the same price. But, I ain't mad at it. And then gonna move on to concealer. This one, again, I think this is just like the basic concealer. This was three quid, I think, and this one is in the shade Light. It looks like it could be a fairly good color match for me. Ooh, that actually works perfectly with the color of foundation. Oh my God, this has oxidized so bad. But, I actually quite like the formula. Definitely take that into consideration, the fact that you'll probably need a lighter concealer than you originally think. They do do a fair one, so I'd probably say if I was to go for something else, I'd go for that one. Next up, I have a few powders. So I have the under eye one and the HD powder. They're both in the shade Sheer. I don't really know the difference, to be honest. Like, they're about the same price. Oh my god, this is like an explosion. They're both the same price, but you get one that's like a really big part, and then you get this little tiny one. And to be honest, they don't really look that much different, so whatever. I do like them both though, so I am going to go in with both of them. Next, I'm going to set my under eyes with the under eye setting powder, which I have used many times before. I've never actually baked with it though, so we'll see how this goes. But as an actual setting powder, it is really, really nice. I sometimes find with some powders, when you bake, it can almost kind of like pick up the product underneath. This seems to work really well, actually. So weird. I'm then going to go in with the HD powder. Again, you've probably seen me use this before. I do really, really like this. And I'm going to swirl that around in the lid and just use a little dome brush and kind of go over like my T-zone mostly. Okay, I don't know if I like that powder with the foundation now because now it looks super matte. It's kind of emphasized my pores even more. But actually, I'm going to spray it with the mist and set. Oh God, that scared me then. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. So I'm going to be taking just the contouring palette and their contouring brush as well. I'm just gonna take this darker color here on the brush. And I normally use these kind of brushes with cream products, so I'm not sure how this will work because they are quite dense. This is very gray toned. Okay, so I am gonna do a little bit of chiseling with that, I think. Not feeling this brush with the powders, actually. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go in with my NYX one that I like to use, just because it's more fluffy and suitable for powders. So I'm just gonna chisel out my jawline that I do not have. It is a little bit purple almost, so you do need to be very, very light-handed with this. Uh, I'm also gonna go in with this shade here, which is more of like a bronzy 
tone, see if we can rectify it with that a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna try out the e.l.f. Um, contouring powder looks like this in the shade St. Lucia, and I'm gonna go in with the actual bronzing contouring shade, see if we can do a little something with that. That's loads better. Okay, wish I tried that first. I feel like my contour is looking kinda crazy right now. So, what I am gonna do is quickly go in with my sponge and just try and pray that I can kind of blot this away a little bit, but I don't think we can. It kind of looks like I'm bruised here now. Right, I'm gonna leave that for a second. I'm gonna see if I can do something in a minute. Um, hmm, do I rate this? Not really. Next up, I am gonna go in with the blush palette and I'm gonna go in with the natural shade because I feel like my contour is so strong right now that we need to bring it back a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with the same brush that I used before. That literally looks like a bruise. What What is going on here? <laughs> I can't even blend it out. It's like, it's committed. It's just like, no, we're stuck to your face now. Have fun trying to blend that out. It's fine. Just uh, just sitting here with something that looks like I've been punched in the face, but it's, it's fine, no problem. So I'm just looking at this illuminating palette and there's like one highlight that I think I could get away with, but I am gonna be using the, whatever you're called, the Blush Gems Highlighter. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay. My theory is, if I put enough of this on, it'll blind you and you won't notice the shitstorm that is happening on my cheekbones right now. Next, I have two palettes here. We have the Mad for Matte, I think it's called, and then we have the Need It Nude. I think I'm literally just gonna take some from this palette, some from the other one, and we'll see what we come up with. So first, I'm just gonna take this nude shade. Oh my God, there's a lot of kickback on these. And then just gonna go in with this kind of warm tone brown here. There is a lot of kickback with these. I'm gonna pop that in the crease. Okay, thoughts so far? Powdery, so be careful, but they are working when you actually put them on the eye. They're blending out really nicely. Let's then take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with this kind of burgundy shade and go on the lower lash line with that. Oh, I like this. Yeah, that's really nice. Then I kind of want to do something a little bit different, but there's not really many colors I can choose from in this palette. Should we choose this kind of coppery shade? That's not overly pigmented actually hmm this gold shade maybe yeah we'll chuck a little bit of that on the lid and i think i'll go in with that ready shade again and maybe a little bit of that color next to it and i'll kind of go in the crease a little bit more just to kind of smoke that out next i'm gonna go in with mascara and it doesn't actually say what this is on the product so i think this is like a lengthening one or something it was the one with the plasticky wand and I'm just going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes. It's nice and separating. Like, it doesn't go clumpy at all. I personally like a little bit of a clumpy lash, but if you don't, then this definitely does not go clumpy whatsoever. I'm thinking it could be good, especially for the lower lashes. And yeah, I quite like that. Next, I'm gonna move on to brows. I've heard a lot about this kit, actually. This one is in the shade Dark, and again, doesn't have the name on it, but I'll leave a link to it down below. It has a little mirror there, and it looks like it has a wax, or like a gel, and then also the shadow shade, and it does come with a little tiny brush as well, which I am gonna try and use. So I'm just gonna brush through my brows quickly with that. So what I'm gonna do with this is kind of fill in my brows with the gel first, I think. It's quite nice and dark. This looks a lot like the Benefit Browsing, which I used to use all the time back in the day. I feel like with a better brush, this could be really, really good. Let's try it. Like this. It's kind of like a pomade, and then I'm also gonna take a little bit of that powder. I feel like this powder is quite light, considering it's a dark palette, but I'm just gonna fill in a few sparse areas of my brow with that. Yeah, that is quite warm toned, so not feeling the powder, but I'm feeling the gel. Will this take over my Freedom Brow Pomade? Absolutely not. Will I use it again? I think I will, I actually really like this. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Lip Exfoliator. I tried this on the back of my hand and it was super scrubby. Mine's actually broken a little bit, but it's fine, we'll just squish it in. So I'm just gonna pop that over my lips. Oh, that's got a good scrub on it. 
Minty fresh. And then for lips, just because I never do colours like this, I think I'm going to go in with this shade from one of the crayons. This one is in Mulberry Maven. I am not really going to enjoy this colour, but I'll do it just to kind of switch things up a little bit. Pigmented. Okay, so I really like the product. I've still got a few of those exfoliating beads left on my lips. I really like the product. I don't actually mind the colour. I thought it was going to be a bit more vampy. Okay, so yeah, I quite like this. I don't know about the colour as such, but I really did like the actual product. I definitely think I would prefer maybe like this tea rose one or something if I can get it open. It's just this kind of pinky mauve shade. But I did want to mix it up for you guys a little bit and do something that wasn't completely new. So let me know what you think of this lip colour in the comment section down below. So yeah, this is the finished look overall. Some things were okay. I like the highlighter, I like the powders, the foundation, it was kind of alright. The concealer oxidises like shit, but it's actually a really good product. Um, like the mascara as well. We all know the contour situation, I'm not happy about this, so I think I am going to have to try and fix that in a minute. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of this look in the comment section down below, and if I featured any of your favourite products today, and if you've tried any other e.l.f. products. As always, if you guys did enjoy this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me, because I upload every other day. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!